This program will demonstrate simple equations in the C language. I will take each equation, an addition operation, a subtraction operation, divide and multiply, and demonstrate each one. The program as it now stands will accept two variables called sum A and sum B given initial values. The assignment statement will simply add sum A plus sum B and store the answer into the variable total. You'll notice that each of these variables are declared as short. Compiling the program will yield a clean compile and then to run the program as simply as you might expect would display the total is 250 which of course is simply the addition of 100 plus 150. Now if I change this calculation to a subtract operation using the minus symbol instead now it will subtract some A minus some B. I'll need to recompile the program and then re-execute. As you can see, the answer is stored as a negative 50. Again, it's subtracting 100 minus 150. Changing this to a multiplication symbol, which is the asterisk, once again, I need to recompile and then re-execute. As you can see, it's produced the answer of 15,000. Once again, 150 times 100. And finally, I'll make this a divide statement, which is going to divide 100 by 150. After a clean compile, it then executes. You'll note that the answer in this case is zero. And that is because sum A is being divided by sum B, which yields a number such as 0.666. That number is a decimal fraction and is not a whole number. The variable total is being stored as a whole number, a short integer. So therefore, any decimals are being truncated, and the answer is being shown simply as zero. To solve this problem, we could change the data type of total from short to a data type of float. Now let's see what effect this will have. After I recompile, notice I get one warning at this point. And that warning says, conversion from int to float possible, loss of data. And if I double click on this message, it is taking me to the assignment statement, which is performing the operation of dividing sum A by sum B. The problem here is, is that we have two integers being divided by each other. And they're being stored into a variable such as total, which is of type float. The compiler recognizes when you perform this operation, then you, it is very possible that you could lose data. In fact, if we perform this execution, you'll notice that the answer still yields to be zero. The proper way to handle the situation is as follows. When an equation contains mixed data types, that is, in our case, integers and floats, you should use typecasting to make each item of data that appears on the right-hand side of the equal sign the same data type as the variable that appears on the left side. To do so, we can perform a type conversion by placing the word float in parentheses immediately before sum A and sum B. When you typecast a variable, C++ creates a temporary copy of that variable using the new data type. Typecasting does not change either, either the data type or contents of the original variable. It simply change it temp changes it temporarily. We do not need to typecast total since total is already declared to be of a type float. Let's recompile our program to see first if it eliminates the warning, which it has, and now we'll re-execute our program. As you can see, the answer yields 0.666667, which is the answer of our 100 divided by 150. This typecasting can be confusing, and we will spend more time on this later.